this is Gene Thorpe, Florida Red Rescue TV, and I wanted to talk about the great American small businessman. You know, like, we've all heard of Leo Fender, you know, from the Fender Amplifier Company, or Jim Denny from Vox, or, you know, various different companies, uh, Gibson, Orville Gibson, and that. But one that I really like is Lowell Kiesel from the Carvin Company. And he started his company way back about the same time that uh, uh, Fender uh, started their company in 1946 was when Lowell started uh, the Kiesel Company and then it became Carbon. He named it after his sons. And he started there in L.A. and he was winding pickups on a machine that he made out of a sewing machine to wind pickups for other guitar companies because at the time the instruments that were out and that were very popular were lap steel guitars. And so, for whatever reason, he went back to Nebraska. He was born in Nebraska in 1912 and um, went back there for a couple of years and then actually started building lap steel guitars. Came back to L.A. in about 1949 and worked uh, actually earlier, a little bit earlier than that, in the aircraft industry, uh, building fighter planes in World War II. So he was a really interesting guy. He was a mechanical and he played uh, music. And from there, he started building, uh, you know, the guitars and then later amplifiers. And they were a very unusual company because most of the time in, in uh, the, the business of selling things, you have the manufacturer, you have the distributor, and then you have the music store and then the consumer. So by the time the consumer buys it, there's a lot of different people that have to make money. But uh, Carvin sold directly out of catalogs to the people, and they didn't go in music stores. We, in the music store business, got a lot of their stuff used, and it was very good. But because it didn't have all those layers of people having to make money, um, it was less expensive. So, like, you could get the same thing in a Carvin that you could get in a Silvertone or a Fender or any of those, and actually very, very good, solid stuff. And all the way through, everything that they've touched has been very interesting. And that's why a lot of really famous people uh, like their stuff. Now, my friend Jerry Walker, who used to produce our band and uh, had a recording studio here in town, was the first person that I'd seen. He'd worked at Skips Music and had been uh, around the music business forever. And his whole PA and all of it was carbon. So that was where we got, you know, closely associated with it and got our mixer. Craig Chiquizo from the Jefferson Starship, who is from Sacramento, uh, was one of the very first endorsers of Carvin. Alan Halsworth, a great guitar player. Steve Vai, Frank Zappa, a lot of people have used it. And one time Sherry and I went to Memphis, Tennessee, and we go to B.B. King's club, and her favorite guitar player of all time is G.E. Smith from Saturday Night Live, and he was a guitar player for Hall & Oates, and just an amazing guitar player and arranger and that kind of thing. And we walk to this club, and there's him and his band loading in. And so G.E. always plays a Telecaster. He plays a Super Reverb Fender amplifier. But all of the other equipment, the, the bass, the other guitars and everything was all carbon. It was very, very interesting. Anyway, it's a great company. Uh, the carbon company, uh, Lowell, actually passed away in 2009. And in 2017, they uh, actually are closing down the carbon portion and Kiesel guitars are going strong. And oh, Joe Walsh uses them. Lots and lots of people use them. Uh, they're just great stuff. So I just wanted to give a, a shout out to Carvin, an American company. This is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV, signing out.